Tell us a little bit about this one, Clive, particularly let's, let's talk about visibility. Okay, in this particular uh, make and model, it has a high visibility cab. Um, the chassis underneath, uh, they're after making it in a particular way that, that you can see, the operator can see from the front out over the skip and out here. Also, there are uh, some safety decals on the side that uh, this dumper should only be loaded uh, to water level and rather than heaping up material inside in the skip, therefore reducing visibility for the operator. So now we'll just have a look at the, at the vision, all round vision on this machine and I might just take a walk just to look at the mirrors left, right and see what we have around the back also. OK, Clive, tell us a bit about the visibility aids here at the rear of this machine. OK, on this machine there's a convex mirror inside in the cab. There's a mirror to the left and a mirror to the right. These mirrors need to be adjusted for, by the operator each morning or even when they come back from lunch. Uh, they should also ha have a look at their mirrors to make sure that they are, uh, the, the mirrors are adjusted as per the operator in the seat. At the rear of this uh, uh, forward tipping dumper, uh, there isn't a reverse camera. Uh, some employers may decide to put on a reverse camera in the back of their dumper and this will be based on risk assessment. So in here, this is a potential crush zone on, on this machine because this machine is articulated. Therefore, persons should not stand in this area. Uh, also, for people carrying out maintenance or when transporting this machine, there is a red safety bar down here that if you take out these pins and you put one pin in here and the other one over here, then for transportation, when this machine is tied down as per EN 12195, uh, this transport safety bar must be in place. As you can see over here, this is your max height of your load, which is water level. If you decide to heap material over here, over this height, uh, you would not be complying with manufacturer's requirements. So again, the correct way to uh, approach the machine and how to get into the cab is by using three points of contact to reduce the chances of a person slipping or falling. So here we go. And the first thing we do when we get into the cab is we put on our safety belt. After that, we put the key in the ignition and then we do all our check our mirrors and our running checks from inside the cab. So when exiting the machine, we take off the seatbelt, the key comes from out of the ignition and again, my left hand goes up here so I cannot pass out my arm. So again, exiting the machine with three points of contact. As you will notice on this forward tipping dumper, it has two flashing beacons. The orange one is where we have items of mobile plant working on site, and this is a requirement. Uh, the green flashing beacon, where it is not a legal requirement in Ireland at the moment, uh, this is good practice, and uh, this shows, this will be lighting when the operator has the seatbelt on, uh, activated. And this also will show management on site uh, when the green light is not flashing, that the seatbelt has not been activated. We also have a very important safety feature on the forward tipping dumper, which is the body prop. Some people call it a safety strut body prop, same idea. So now I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to put the safety strut in place. This uh, would be a job uh, usually for maintenance personnel who are carrying out uh, maintenance on this uh, part of the machine. So when I have the skip tip forward, it's gone past uh, its center of gravity, uh, therefore uh, it's pushing away from the dumper. So I open up these two safety latches and I secure this in place. There's a little strap that needs also to be fixed up just to ensure that it's correctly in position. Another item to consider uh, with forward tipping dumpers and other machines uh, where uh, there are wheels is the safe pumping of tyres. Uh, many, many places uh, would have the nozzle in this hand and the gauge in this hand. So while pumping the tyre, I'm right beside the wall of the tyre. In the event of the tyre bursting, uh, this could be very serious. So companies need to consider a safer way for pumping tyres. There are systems available on the market such as automatic tyre inflation systems, uh, etc.